Nixon trying to burst through, but he went down when challenged by Gus McPherson. Referee Hewitt got it right, though. Nixon brought down before he was inside the box. From the free kick, Craig Brewster's shot came back off the wall. The ball wasn't cleared properly, but McAnally's shot flew wide. United had Danish under-21 trialist Brian Fleeson go, and he had to keep an eye on George McCluskey's looping cross. Killy began, though, to string some passes together. Tommy Burns at the heart of this move, but Ali Mitchell couldn't get enough power in the shot. United's Jaron Nixon continued to look dangerous. Killy's Tom Black had to move quickly to close him down. Nixon was coming more and more into it. Cleland crossed here, but the striker turned well, though the shot was over. When the goal came, Nixon had to be involved. He whipped in a cross from the left, but Black's attempted clearance beat Geddes and ended up in his own net. Into the second half, and United came close to going two up. Brewster's run and a fierce shot, which cracked off the bar. Killy were still fighting hard to get level. United were slow to clear the danger, and Mitchell managed to get in a shot. Then an anxious moment for Bobby Geddes. O'Neill's cross hung in the air. Geddes made to tip it over, but tipped it onto his own bar. It ended okay for him, though. Then Kelly equalised, but slack United defending here. McPherson's ball into the box should have been cleared. It wasn't, and Tom Brown scored. But Kelly almost lost it at the death. McPherson's header back was picked up by O'Neill. But Geddes saved, 